What's going on everybody? Jason with Heap of Jeep. My local O'Reilly's Auto Parts sucks. Long story short, doing the rear brakes on my 2014 Jeep Patriot. My local auto parts store, uh, Thoroughby will be auto, been owned by the same family forever. Um, always buy parts there. They always treat you right. And they are not open on Sundays. Okay. Uh, the closest store to me, I've got to go all the way into... Uh, the next town and it's about a 25 minute drive and they're all about the same but uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts is the closest so I figure okay I'm gonna order the parts from there go online and I paid 10 extra bucks paid 40 bucks for this bracket rather than 30 for one just like it because the $30 one wasn't gonna be there till Tuesday this one 10 extra dollars in stock all right it's worth it 10 bucks Get the pins, get the new rubber bushings, everything I need to to finish the brake job on the Jeep Patriot that's giving me all kinds of problems. And it says, okay, it'll be ready in an hour. We'll send you an email. I go finish getting the bracket off and I mean, get the, the caliper pin seized up in here. And that's why I'm getting all these parts. And it's very frustrating already. It took about an hour to finish everything get ready. Still haven't gotten the email. It's a 25 minute drive into Thirlby. I figure, okay, well, they said an hour. Um, by the time I get there, it'll be about an hour and a half. So that should be plenty of time. Pull into the parking lot. They still haven't sent me the email saying, your parts are ready. Okay. Um, I'll just go in and ask. And I walk in there, and there's a kid working the counter. And, and he's got some calipers out, and he's measuring a little tiny bolt for a guy. And he's measuring all the angles and sides and this and that and I'm at first I'm really impressed I'm like okay you know those little specialty bolts can be really tough to match they're usually dealership items and the dealer's not open on a Sunday either so the fact that he's there and measuring all this and that and I'm like okay that's pretty cool gets done measuring writes it all down goes onto the computer okay so what year is this for and what model yeah we don't have anything like that why, why were you measuring it in the first place if you were just going to trust the computer to tell you you don't have anything like that? That's, And all of a sudden, you know, I'm like estimating him, you know, okay, knowledge, good, problem solving, good, off the cliff. Guy leaves in a huff, and I don't blame him. So now it's my turn. I get up to the counter. I ordered some parts online. Um, don't know if they're ready yet, but um, if you can pull them, that'd be great. And he goes onto the computer, what's your name? Prints out the, the thing, goes over to the rack, comes back, punches some stuff into the computer, goes, yeah, I don't think they're in. I'm like, well, no, they have to be in. I paid extra money to buy the parts that were in. So, um, they are in. They said they'd be ready in an hour. It's been an hour and a half. Um, they're in. And he's like, hmm, okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I, don't, I don't know if they're in. All right. Why don't you take my receipt and just go pull the parts instead of looking to see if my order's ready? Because it's obviously not. And he takes the receipt and goes, yeah, I guess I could go pull the parts. Thank you. He goes and gets the parts. Uh, brings the bracket back, I pull it out of the box, throw the old one in because there's a $5 core charge. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And he goes, so did you pay for these already or what? I'm like, yeah, I paid online. Uh, I just need my core charge back, $5 for, for this. But I'll tell you what, if it's going to be a hassle, you can keep the $5. I just want to go. He goes, oh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to go get a manager. Oh, my God. Manager comes out and have to go through this whole rigmarole just to get my $5. But finally got the $5 and got out of there. And uh, have decided that I am never going back to that O'Reilly Auto Parts again. I've got a lot of issues with a lot of the local auto parts stores. But um, some of them treat me better than others. The local Napa store, okay. The local Advance, okay. Um, but I'll tell you what, if you can find that small town, family owned, been in business forever because they know how to treat customers 
and know how to deal with cars and have a basic working knowledge of not only the car parts they're selling but of the computer systems that they have in the store they that is going to go so much further for you than uh, trust in those young bucks <laughs> <laughs> the big box auto parts stores. So uh, I am never going back to that O'Reilly's. I might give another one a shot on the other side of town or whatever. Who the heck knows? Um, I'm not going to condemn O'Reilly's in general because of that. I'm just saying my local one sucks. I got to go finish some breaks. I'll see you next time.